Hey everybody, I am back home. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did, and I ate a lot of food, and it was really good. So, woohoo! This time I already have my friends list pulled up. Look at me being all organized and prepared. Isn't that something new? But yeah, I would love to hear how you guys' Thanksgiving went. You can leave a comment on this video telling me what you guys did or any special family traditions you guys have. I would love to hear them. I like hearing about you guys' lives. It makes it sound really interesting. And, you know, then it also doesn't seem like I'm really conceited because I'm not. I just am filming these videos and talking about myself because that's what I do. Yo, I owe you one. How, do you, how did you like Frost last as a blizzard? Cool, wasn't it? Don't you want a battle? Okay, so... You'd think getting his girlfriend back and building his houses would already make him your friend, but no. Instead, you have to do this. Yay. Okay, can I just say Glalie is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time? I don't know why, I just love him. He's awesome. I love how he can play Empoleon Snow Slide, but it's like, well, if you can slide, then why don't you just slide around in the snow all the time instead of, like, levitating? Because I thought the levitation ability made it so that you can't touch the ground. I don't know, Pokemon confuses me sometimes. I will not question its logic, I'll just go along with it. Nope, you ain't gonna do that to me today, boy. I really like the Pokemon in the ice er, Iceberg Zone, Glacier Zone. Oh, never mind. What am I talking about? It is the Glacier Zone. No, it's the Iceberg Zone. I'm confused. It's the Iceberg Zone. I don't know where my mind's at today. So, now we're best friends with Glalie. What's my list say now? Frostlass. Okay, so because we've already battled Frostlass once and she's already our friend, all we have to do is... She wasn't going to make up with Glalie, but when you looked me in the eye, I realized something. I was being selfish and stubborn. Let's go, game. Okay, so we only have to battle her one more time, which makes things easier. Yay! Easiness. So, because this part, or this LP, is going so fast currently, I have proclaimed that at this point we will probably be done before January. So, I'm really excited, and in a few days I'll be going to my audition. So, that'll be fun. I will not be uploading on those days, I don't think. I don't think I can take my computer... Well, no, I can take my computer. I don't know if I can take my recording equipment with me. I'll have to ask. Because I don't know if they, like, have a TV there and everything. I don't know. So, if I don't record on those days, I'll post an update saying that I can't record because I'm at my uh, uncle's house. So, Piloswine. Okay, so... Now we have to go all the way up to the top again to become friends with Piloswine. Da da da. I wonder how many friends how many friends are in this area. Before I talk to Piloswine, I'll check. Because maybe we can finish them all today if there aren't very many. Probably not, but maybe tomorrow. I like that song also, maybe tomorrow. Um Well there actually aren't that many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. We could actually do this today if I can, like, somehow kick it into overdrive. Mm -hmm. The glacier's er iceberg zone is really, really short. And I don't know why I keep calling it the glacier zone. I really don't. I have no clue where I got that from. I it sounds familiar, but, like, I don't remember where I got it from, and I don't remember why I'm calling it that. So, I'm not sure if electricity will work on him or not, just because he's a ground type. So, we'll see. Yeah, no, it doesn't work on him, so we just have to beat him with dash. If you want to be a cheater, you can make friends with the Pokemon here. Okay, so I'm going to give you a hint here. If you want to be a cheater, you get a new attack when you get the new Pokemon to teach you things. So... If you want to stop here and fast forward, and keep fast forwarding until I tell you this is the Pokemon, then you can go in, get the new attack, and then it'll be easier to beat all the other types. So if you want to do that, uh, feel free. If you don't want to do that, then you can follow it in order like I am. Dang. <sighs> 
so we have Pila Swine here. I like I like Swine Up and I like Mama Swine. I really like Mama Swine. Pilo Swine's probably my least favorite of the evolutions. I'm glad Dawn got a Mamo Swine because I would have never like expected her to have that kind of Pokemon, but she does, so good for her. So now we have a Pokemon that's more difficult, which would be Mamo Swine. Um, I'm not going the right way at all. So we're at five minutes, and we have 15 friends left. Let's see if we can get five, or one Pokemon per minute, which is not going to happen. So yeah, we'll probably have to do it in a separate part tomorrow, but... <clears throat> oh well, that's okay. Then we'll be done with the Glacier Iceberg Zone officially tomorrow. Hi, Mamoswine. Mamoswine's really hard. <laughs> well, the first one isn't necessarily that hard, but... The second battle, it gave me some difficulty, you know? It's a really big Pokemon that you're going up against, and you're pretty tiny. Okay. So basically what I like to do is just literally stand here and wait until he's done. So what I do is I run, and then I run far enough away from him where I know he'll stop before he gets to me. And for whatever reason, I feel like... Ah... Uh, okay. I felt like I Thunderbolt worked on him the last time, or maybe it was just because I had the other attack. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, that's the first Mammoth Wine. Uh... Don't really know what else to say about that. The second one might take me a few minutes. Oh yeah, guys, did you get any good Black Friday stuff? Tell me about that. We got great Black Friday stuff. Well, no, we actually didn't get great Black Friday stuff. We didn't participate in Black Friday because I was at my grandma's house. Um, we did go, like... We just got home a few minutes ago, and... Uh, I don't know why I'm losing my train of thought. I got new headphones because I lost mine, so I was, like, mooching off my brother's headphones for months. Um, but so I got my new headphones and I'm like really happy with them. They sound really great when you have both of them in, but they were really cheap. And it wasn't even on sale. It was just $10 headphones and they're really awesome. I really, really like them. Okay, so like this is going way better than expected. I like this so far. This makes me happy. Yay! <laughs> oh, sorry, that probably just blasted the mic. I just meant to laugh, because it's funny. This is the first time that's ever happened. So, who's next? Ooh, I like this Pokemon, and it won't take long at all. Oh, sorry, Mamoswine, didn't mean to do that. For whatever reason, in the glaciers... Uh, in the iceberg zone, I used to get lost a lot, and now I don't get lost, but I have no clue why I used to get lost. So, now we're gonna do a quiz. Let's start. Here is the first question. What covers the ground in the Iceberg Zone? Wow. Lava. What part of Lapras do you ride on to cross the ocean? On her tail. Underwater. I just can't even believe these questions. Who is the keeper of the Iceberg Zone? Blaziken. Perfect. You didn't get a single one wrong. You win. Well, that took about 30 seconds. So if you can guess who's next, you get brownie points. If we can find him. Octillery, no. Where? Oh, there he is. Ursa Ring. I said I wanted to go to the hot spring in the cavern zone, but Teddy Ursa insisted on playing in the snow. It's far too cold for me. That's why Glalie is keeping me warm in one of his igloos. Well, you know, it's really funny because you're not in an igloo right now. So I don't see how he can be keeping you warm. Anyway, I, um, have strong attachments to Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring because Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness was one of my favorite games of all time as a kid, so... I never would've, like, always, I was always hoping for a girl Teddy Ursa. I never wanted to evolve my Teddy Ursa. I don't know why. I never wanted to evolve my Teddy, Teddy Ursa. Whether it was a boy or not, I just wanted to keep it a Teddy Ursa. So, I, pref I have a preference, um of Teddy Ursa over Ursa Ring, but Ursa Ring's still pretty cool, too. I remember the episode of Pokemon with the evil Teddy Ursa who would, like, steal things from people but act all sweet. It was funny. 
I remember a lot of Pokemon episodes, but like the last time I watched Pokemon, I was like 10. And that episode I haven't watched since I was seven, maybe. Also, I remember the episode with the Golden Pseudo Wudo because we were all, well. Well. Okay, so I was inside watching Pokemon because that was my life, and my brothers were outside playing with, like, these neighbor kids that we hadn't ever talked to, even though we lived there for five years. And so I was like, oh my gosh, there's an episode with a golden pseudo wudo, and if my memory serves, it was, like, painted gold or something. I don't know. So now we get to go to the actual exciting part, and we get to go over the bridge! Yay! I think the bridge is pretty. And, like, right in the middle of it, the music stops and whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it makes that little tinkling sound. I don't know. <sighs> okay, so now this is going to be one of the more tedious things we're going to have to do. We talked to Delibird. You're Teddy Ursa's friend. I'll give you a present. I hope the sun always shines on you. So basically, this is going to be making friends with Curlia, Delibird, and a bunch of other Pokemon all in one. Yay! So, to become Curlia's friend, we have to... Completely decorate the Christmas tree. Squirtle, my baby, I love you. We have to completely decorate the Christmas tree. Um. But, wait, what'd you say? If you become friends with Sfeel. Okay, so. Where's Sfeel? I know a bunch of Sfeel are, like, down here. Where are you, Sfeel? You're, like, normally down here. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Okay, so, <clears throat> what we basically have to do, if we complete this, if we complete the Christmas tree side quest, we are friends with, no. Okay, if we complete the Christmas tree side quest, we are friends with Curlia. But, in order to complete the Christmas tree side quest, we have to become friends with, like, half the Pokemon in the Glacier Zone. And, after that, we still have to get a quiz from Delibird. So, it's sort of a difficult place to be in. We make friends with a lot of people, but that, it sort of takes just really long. So, even though we only have to become friends, I'm just going to become best friends with now, so I don't have to, like, do it all later. You know what I'm saying? Sfeel is actually really fast the second time around, and there are multiple times where I have lost to Sfeel. I do not underestimate Sfeel. Sfeel is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. And once again, can I just say Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness? Sfeel was literally always in my party. Shiftree and Sfeel. They were like my two favorite Pokemon of all time when I was little. And I would always... I remember the day I got it to evolve into a wall rain. It was like the happiest day of my entire life. Like, I'm not kidding. I loved the... I love the wall rain family. So much. Where's Delibird? Da -da 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 -da. Shiftry wasn't even much of an accomplishment because I saw the leaf stone and I agonized for hours over if I wanted to keep it or evolve Nuzleaf and eventually I just evolved Nuzleaf and then I felt really bad about it later. Don't know why. So, for whatever reason, you can't talk to Curlia. You actually have to go up to the tree. So, don't talk to Curlia because they'll just be like, No, you can't talk to Curlia. Go to the tree. And it wastes time. It's just one of those tedious things where it doesn't just, like, be like, no, go to the tree. You have to, like, go through this whole sequence, and it's really annoying. Squirtle. Yay, where's my baby? There you are. Squirtle. You're no bigger than me. I'm actually, like... You're, like, half my size. No, not twice. You're, like, a quarter of my size. I'm way bigger than you, Betty. When I come to Pokemon like this that are really tiny and cute, I sort of like to just let them attack me a few times because I feel like they deserve a chance because they're so adorable. And someday they'll be big and strong. I'm not going to do that this time, though, because we just need to get through it, so... Squirtle is now your friend. I think I like battles better than Chase, just because Chase, you just have to, like, complete... Re repeatedly tap a button, and you have to, like... sometimes you lose. In battles, you hardly ever lose unless it's against a Mammoth Swine or a Torterra or something of the sort.
No, I like jumping and then like thunderbolting. It's cooler. Alright, so Delibird, Delibird. <sighs> we could actually become friends with everyone in the Poke Park today. If I can do this. Because this is knocking out half the Pokemon. I completely forgot that. Sneasel came to the ice tree. Um, da da da. So, where's Delibird again? There you are. I'll give you a present if you become friends with Smoochum. Where is she? I love Smoochum. I love Smoochum and Jinx. They're just two of my fabies. I love how you have to battle Smoochum. Like, you don't play hide and seek or anything, you battle Smoochum. I want Smoochum and Jinx to have another evolution. I feel like they need that. Okay, that didn't work. Yay! Baby, don't be sad, I'm sorry. You are tough, shall we be friends? Yes, we shall. Yay! So, anyway, like, uh... I think I pointed this out in one of the first few episodes in the Meadow Zone. Um, you have, like, you get more berries for becoming friends with people the longer, or the farther into the game and the tougher the Pokemon. Oh, I thought you were going to, like, shoot something at me. I keep forgetting she, like, charges. <sighs> okay, how many minutes are we at? 16, 17, never mind. Um, yeah, I'm not going to cut it off just yet, because I definitely want to make friends with Curlia before I end the part. So, actually, we probably won't get to become friends with everyone today, but I want to check and see how, like, how many Pokemon are left after this. Yay! So it should be done now. Yay! Curlia, you can be our friend. Okay, so let's check the friends list so far. I hate that Chatot can't be your best friend until you become best friends with, like, everyone in the entire game. So this is mystery Pokemon that we'll see later. Tre what? Normally you only have to do a quiz once, so we have to go back with Teddy Ursa. Um... So how many Pokemon do we have left after this? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, six, seven. Yeah, okay, so we'll do those tomorrow. I'll make friends with Teddy Ursa, and then we'll end the part. I'm trying to think of what else to say, because I'm just sort of lost at this point. But no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. So what I don't like about some Pokemon is that they're in multiple zones. Like, Teddy Ursa is in every zone known to man. She's in, like, four of them. And it makes me really angry, because there could have been, like, other Pokemon that they would replace her with. But instead they were just like, oh, no, let's just have Teddy Ursa in four zones. Doesn't that sound like fun? And then no one else can get a chance. Guess what? That doesn't sound like fun to me. People already probably know that because yesterday, but oh well. You're so good at Chase. I never stood a chance against you. Okay, so now are we your best friend? I mean, like, I'd go, I'd talk to her again, but then we'd have to X out of it and stuff like that. So, yay, now we're best friends with everyone. So... Thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully with Chow then. Um, yeah. Uh, share your Thanksgiving stories and your Black Friday stories, and I'll see you tomorrow. No, Teddy Ursa, get out of my shot. There. Random octillery noise. Perfect note to end on. Bye.